Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Flux with FluxWithIt.com. Today, I'm showing you AC7 Core HD. What this is is an iPod or uh, excuse me, an iPad app, which will allow you to control all the faders in your doll, also the transport controls and other buttons as well, uh, directly from your iPad over Wi-Fi. Also, you can plug it in and control it that way. Um, but I haven't really even had the need to plug it in because it works so well as it is. So I'm doing some sound design on a new bumper for the beginning of my videos. And let me just show you how well this thing works. So if I hit play, you can see that the transport control is working right away straight from here. If I flip these over, you can see what the levels are. Um, I can go ahead and just select different sounds right away from here and by swiping you can change what each group of buttons do from the top and the bottom which is pretty ingenious. I have a Project Mix IO that I normally use for mixing because it has nice motorized faders and a large working surface. Um, it's been collecting dust lately because I don't really like the preamps on it for one, so I've never really used it for that. And uh, for two, it's just a large bulky surface, so why use that large bulky surface if I can do the same thing right from here and have my automated faders uh, right at my desktop and it can really just sit in my lap. Um, so let's take a look at some of these buttons here. You do have your... Uh, your utility screen here, which has save, undo, cancel, enter, shift, option, control, and your command slash alt, which is really nice to just be able to hit undo very fast. Uh, I, I like that a lot. When you're uh, mixing, you can pull up, pull up your mixer just by pressing the mixer button, and you can hide it again by pressing it again, which is pretty darn nice. Um, Basically, you have access to just about all the normal features that you would be wanting to see um, in your in your doll. I mean, pretty much everything that you would want at your fingertips quickly, um, short of you know using uh, intensive hotkeys and whatnot. You can, when you're selecting your your tracks, you can go by inputs, audio tracks, and you'll see that. It'll actually tell you what track is on there. So the little scribble strips will actually write out what you have. So if I want to solo a track, I can just solo it. Probably be best if I uh, did it like so. Here. bring up the master fader and I can mix multiple faders at once So very easy, very fast. You know, you've got your, um, you've got your pots up here, and you can push button on them as well. And uh, when you touch them for the push button, you'll notice that the six dots on them will actually kind of bounce to let you know that you've uh, you've touched them and activated a click on them. Uh, you also have access to nice little features such as turning on your uh, your metronome right from. Uh, Right from the transport, you can select click here. I'm sorry, there we go. Bring that fader down for you. You can do your nudging right from there. You can set markers, um, drag and drop. You can do all kinds of uh, 
easy things right from there. Now, it works more than just with Studio One is what I'm using right now. But um, you can also go ahead and bring up lots of different modes. Um, it has a latency reducer, which I have on right now. Um, I was just kind of toying with it. I'm not seeing a huge difference using latency reduction on here. Uh, the and, and I really wasn't even having a problem with latency. The only latency that I was really seeing was from when the meters were registering sound on here to when I was seeing it on there and also when I'm hearing it. So there was a little bit of discrepancy there. Um, according to the audio MIDI setup, it says that I'm running around 10 milliseconds um, throughput. So 10 milliseconds there. You add on whatever iOS uh, has latency-wise for itself, and then you get your overall. So we're probably in the range of like um, somewhere between... I don't know, probably like 40 to 75 milliseconds, somewhere in that range of, of overall um, latency. But that's not really a huge deal when you're dealing with just regular mixing. So, um, go ahead. If I go here to setup, I can. you can also go between smooth and fast meter response to become you know more fine or more abrupt. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. Um, so, the, these are all the different um, DAW setups that are already set up for you. Pro Tools, Logic, Digital Performer, Cubase, Nuendo, Cakewalk, uh, Reaper, Ableton Live, Reason, Vegas, FL Studio, Studio One, of course, Adobe Audition, Traction, Final Cut Pro 9, and then a generic mode. It's very, very easy to set up in your preferences. Basically, on a Mac, you just go to your audio MIDI, you set up a network, and you connect your iPad to that. In and out is on that same network. Then in Studio One, all you would have to do is go to your preferences, and in your external devices, you set up a Mackie control, and then you set it to Network Session 1, Network Session 1, which is what you have your iPad on, and you're good to go. It'll automatically set up and be, be ready to use without any problems. Fader banking is really cool on here. Um, the left and right arrow will go up and down uh, one fader. So if I need to go to fader 9, I would just touch it once here. If I wanted to go up a whole bank of 8 faders, I would touch the doubles left or right, which I don't have enough tracks on here right now to, to really show you that. But... You know, if I wanted to do that, it would be rather easy. I guess I could do it this way. Hold on. So, where are we at? If you go to boxes, buses, outputs, users, and you could select, I could bank up and down like that. Or like so. Very easy. You can select your tracks and arm tracks and whatnot. Just a great app. So I thought I would let everybody know. Right now it's $2.99 in the App Store. I know that there was a lot of people complaining because the original version of uh, AC Core 7 was um, was sold and then it was, wasn't really working much after that and the update, instead of just updating that one and fixing that one, he came out with a whole new one, which is the HD version, and he could not offer it free, so he offered it for $2.99. If you don't have either, whatever, just go pick it up. Even if you had the old one and you weren't happy, get this one and pick it up and try it out because I am very, very happy with it. He also has an app for iPhone that works very well as, as well. I use that if I'm in my vocal booth and I just want to, you know turn on recording and then stop recording it just works really well so um, I would say support them and um, and check it out just a, a great app very responsive very easy to use setup was a breeze I had no issues with it um, I read the manual once the manual is very short and worth reading um, you can do your scrubbing back and forth so I mean it's just it's just a great app anyway this is flux with uh, fluxwithit.com Peace